All right, this is going to be a quick message. This came through last night. So we got the sun, summer solstice radiance coming through, the solar energy, enlightenment, awakening, uh, vibrance, vibrancy. All right, and then we have keep an open mind, make the effort with the will of fortune, new love, reconciliation. So this looks like a cycle, all right, and a cycle of re reconciling. Uh, right there, new love, it's new, it's, but it's also reconciling, so I feel like it is definitely the twin flame energy. All right, so keep an open mind, make the effort. And then we got this. Separation, all right? Let your friends help you. Spread your wings. All right, let me stop right there. Now I wanted to clarify separation because I felt like it was talking about the, the journey, okay? The separation of the divine counterparts but like um, past energy, and I got religious factors, the crown, accepting our crown, okay, deception, wearing false masks, okay, so what I feel like is part of this journey of the separation of the twin flames is to regain their, their own divine sovereign power and connecting with the divine, putting the crown on their own journey as their own divine unique self. And facing the illusions, the mass, the uh, just everything that goes along with the ego and awakening. So it's facing this, all right? And letting your friends helping you, letting your friends from above, the angels help you, on, uh, and on earth, of course. <laughs> but letting your friends help you Sp to spread your wings. So that is the divine purpose. See how she's totally connected to the source. So that was part of, I feel like that was part of the, the separation was to also show that you are already sovereign. Everything is already within you. So, but I like how it's like, keep an open mind because you'll see what comes next to keep an open mind. <laughs> wow, okay. That felt like really low to my house. <laughs> like my window shook. All right. Spread your wings, all right? And then we have honeymoon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. And then we have wedding, past life relationship, and then the world embrace. So I was like, wow, that is a big energy. That is very to the point. Okay, past life this is a past life connection. Wedding, okay. And with honeymoon, spread your wings. So part of the separation was to get on your path, all right? And I also feel like this is also talking about um, being unioned in the spiritual already, okay? So these, it's showing that uh, you're already in unity or there's already this connection on the spiritual realm. And it's, and it's connecting to that within yourself. But this is beautiful. This is like amazing reading. <laughs> very, very, very amazing. Just because we got honeymoon, we have wedding, past life relationships. So keep an open mind. That's what I'm seeing here. But this is part of the journey. And also it's the sun really represents uh, awakening to this. Okay. So enlightening, but I really love this. This is embracing it. So embrace it, just embrace it and yet surrender at the same time, <laughs> you know? And then we have the two of cups with express your love. So, wow, beautiful. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I love this energy. So that path, you know, the purpose, I feel like, of this journey and the Twin Flame journey is to get you on path and connected to your sovereign self and connected to the divine, knowing that it's already connected with you. And the way I feel is like eventually it will manifest in physical form as above, so below. 
with this. Embrace it. This earth, this seed has been growing. Okay, um, okay. I don't know why I didn't talk it like that, but <laughs> I'm just all right, let's keep going. Now these are my cards, and I love this message as well. Okay, pursue that passion, the fire. All right, pursue that passion. Choose your own adventure. Bring something new to the table or it's different. Bring something different and then bold. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> Pursue that passion, choosing your own adventure. Okay. Deciding, hey, I'm still ascending. Let's go. Pursue that passion. Bring something different to the table in being bold. Wow. And then I also got some tarot cards. Let's look what we got here. We have the full energy. All right. Taking a leap of faith. It's collective energies moving on towards calmer waters. Nine of wands, seven of wands. Standing up for oneself. Not giving up, persevering. And then we'll have success. Look at that celebration. Double in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Three of cups celebrating over that. Grounded. We're now grounded. Grounded. Uh, balanced energy with queen here. Releasing illusions. Getting to the truth. And this is the wheel of fortune. The way I saw it, saw it was like it's separating the wheat, wheat and chaff. And kind of energy and she's sitting on top of the wheel and everything that is let's just say of this energy getting kicked off the wheel all right so this is a huge shift right here the full energy six of swords going towards calmer waters standing up coming coming into our sovereign sovereign self i just love it okay other messages. Wow, follow the leader. Which is you. <laughs> you know? Follow the leader. Which is you. Time to take back our sovereignty. And that is the whole journey of going within. Going within. All right. And you're and leading you to your higher self, your higher self bringing in higher information yeah strength balance balancing it follow strength that will be your leader follow your inner strength one ring circus yeah so this is yeah about standing up standing in your power and let's get a yeah ooh that's a good one releasing allegiances and intention, your intention is powerful. Connecting to that intention. Love it. Just a quick message. Uh, yeah, embrace it. We're embracing it. 21. Oh, that'll be tomorrow with the 21st. Beautiful. All right. Take care. Thanks.